we don't, we're not paying for citizens to be calling our attorney. I thought we went over this once before, didn't we? Okay. Do what? He is, he is the city's attorney, not the individual's attorney. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, uh, water bills that have not been paid. Uh, current past due for one through 30 days is $9,937.97. <clears throat> 31 to 60 days is 3,827.73. 61 plus past due uh, for uh, non-payment and for uh, renters leaving without paying their bill, $29,625.69. Total outstanding owe owing the city is 44000 18 and 41 cents. Again, I, I, I am curious because people, when we were talking to Hickory Creek, was very upset about thinking that they were going to take over the water department in a way that y'all wouldn't get no, uh, the citizens wouldn't be uh, getting, I guess, the revenue from the city. Well, this is revenue that the city needs that is not coming in, and I believe everybody should pay their bills. I'm sorry. I pay mine, and I'm on a fixed income. And for those that wonder, none of us get a paycheck for setting up here. So when that rumor was started, I think we need to stop it now because uh, there is no paycheck. This is a I want to help the city paycheck. It's not money to us. All right. Now, citizens' comments. Uh, I believe uh, Russell was first. My name is Russell Duckworth, and I live at 202 Bonham here in Wadonia, Texas. Um, I had asked Jan to get a couple of items on the agenda, but apparently, even though the city secretary told her those items would be placed on the agenda, they were not. So I'll ask the same questions I asked her in public comment last time. Madam Mayor, do you know who the public funds investment officer is for the city or who has taken public funds investment training? Wait one second. We want this and this given back to whoever owns them. They don't need to be on the Man, desk. You, it's, it's not okay for you to restrict people's recordings of these You can record, but don't we don't need them on the desk. No. That's not restricting you. Well, you pick them up and give them back to who you think needs them then. Well, I guess I'll, we can just have them in the office then. It's not illegal for him to record it. That's it correct. It is illegal for you to prevent him from recording it. I'm not preventing him. Yeah. I like my comments recorded. Uh, TCEQ violations. This uh, was a letter that was sent out. Said that there were required to be 10 per three years, that none were taken. And this was right after you became uh, mayor, uh, Ms. Harry. Um, samples were taken on 11 9 2023 and 3 2023. I'm curious what kind of schedule we're following and if all the testing has been in compliance with this. My first question was, are you aware of who the public funds investment training officer is or who has taken public funds investment training? So you didn't know on Thursday. You don't know today? I can tell you who the last person that was certified by this council was, and that was Dana Wyatt. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> um, Financial reports and closing dates. It took 70 days to get the audit and financial reports for the 2020 closing year. It took 98 days in 21, 75 days in 22, and the most recent set of financials, it's been 170 days. I'm curious if we're gonna get those reports before the election. I'd be curious to see how the city is doing before the next election, and I'm sure many other people would too. 
Uh, again, on that bullseye, the closer you are to the center, the better it is, and that's the line we're at right here, almost 180 days later. So you understand people are expecting the information that you promised, which is transparency. I shouldn't have to beg you for information that was at the end of September 2023. Thank you. Daffy. Okay, good evening. Uh, back. Please give that to us. Well, I'd like mine recorded too, if it's okay. Then give it to Russell when you're through. Okay. I can, uh, all right. So I'm going to start my three minutes again because I was interrupted. Um, uh, getting back to what we were talking about before as far as the... Um, uh, our, our organization's uh, meeting on the square this weekend. Uh, yeah, we have a political action uh, committee, uh, RAIL, which is uh, legitimate, legal, and we sent out these uh, requests to everybody. As a, uh, as a matter of fact, we had a meeting last weekend. Our, our meetings are open to any, anybody. Uh, Greg showed up last week, which she was more than welcome to. But we have our own uh, uh, platform. We have uh, people within our organization that want to run for office that we support, and that's why we're having a meeting this uh, weekend to let the community uh, introduce our, uh, our candidates that we're supporting to the community. I will mention uh, during the meeting at one of the first things that there are other people running for office. So I just wanted to point out also, it's been uh, mentioned uh, within the communi uh, community that this uh, flyer is illegal. It's not, and I have documentation to, uh, uh, to, uh, to prove it. Uh, it's because it's under $500 and it's a flyer. It doesn't have to have the uh, disclaimer on it. Although in the future we will put, we will put it on. It's just a, it's just an oversight on our part. Uh, getting uh, on to uh, feeding and fanning. The last time I was up here Thursday, I forgot to mention a couple of things. In that, uh, in a previous meeting, uh, when it was on the agenda, the city had said they would put out uh, the, the uh, blockades uh, for us to use. Uh, uh, for, for safety reasons, and they were not available to us at the last uh, uh, food distribution. And they also mentioned, I, I thought they said at that meeting that uh, uh, new tiles were on order, but a, uh, a Freedom of Information request showed that they weren't. And whether they are or they aren't, I don't understand how uh, uh, the needing of new tiles can prevent uh, taking down of misinformation that caused, again, at the last uh, meeting, at, at the last time, people uh, came the wrong day. And we, we served over uh, 450 people at that meeting. Uh, getting on to um, the, uh, the, the the new ordinance that, that you have out, I, I, I don't understand what, uh, in a small town, why we even need something like this. I, I was paying particular interest to something uh, uh, that they were talking about out outdoor, public, religious, patriotic, and such and such. If they expected a crowd of over 30 or more, then um, they'd have to uh, get a permit. So that means uh, if some church, uh, some church group uh, has decides to have a prayer meeting on the square, and they don't anticipate uh, 30 people showing up, uh, so they don't get a permit. Uh, so all of a sudden, say it's the First United Methodist Church. Uh, over there, they decide to have one, and then uh, just before, just as it gets started, uh, uh, six, uh, six other, uh, six new people show up, and they only had 28. Now they have 34. I mean, what are they supposed to say? Hey, Jesus, I'm sorry. We're going to have to get a permit. We'll just postpone this, but we'll get back to you. Anyway, thank you very much for your time this evening. Good evening, and thank you for letting me be here. My name is Carlton Wilkes, 
Senior Advisor in Financial Compliance with the Texas Water Development Board. With me this evening is my colleague, Joseph Stevens. Our team is responsible for monitoring the Texas Water Development Board portfolio, in part by reviewing over 600 audits each year with borrowers. <coughs> Thank you for allowing us to share information with you. I have an understanding of the challenges that the city has faced. We are hopeful that we can assist the city to overcome any issues it faces related to your compliance with financial and economic obligations to the uh, Texas Water Development Board. To be sure, we do not make decisions for our borrowers. We recommend best practices that may improve economic condition and the ability to pay debt charges, <coughs> and also recommend suggestions to improve compliance with the debt covenants. The city borrowed from the Texas Water Development Board a little over $2.8 million in funds provided to us by a federally funded program and received another $500,000 in loan forgiveness. Upon receiving those funds, the city pledged to adhere to certain covenants. Currently, the city is non-compliant with some of those covenants. I'm here to help you understand the seriousness of this matter and the things that must be done to restore compliance. I also want to be sure that the city understands that we are available to assist on almost anything related to the compliance and financial obligations to the Water Development Board. Please do not hesitate to ask for assistance if possible. Our role includes assessing the financial health of our borrowers as well as the status of our borrowers' compliance with bond covenants and other legal requirements. Financial compliance, Joseph and I, we report to our chief financial officer through our director. During our review, we identified two issues of non-compliance. The one issue relates to the budget process, and the other concerns the proper funding of the interest in sinking fund account. Subsequent information provided to us reveals the general fund budget was adopted at a break-even level without the initial deficit shown in the prior year of fiscal 2022 general fund budget. If all current budgets are adopted at a break-even or better level, this should address the budget concerns we raised for fiscal 2022. I would add to you that an uh, additional review on our part is that your current budget does not appear to include debt service to the Texas Water Development Board. Um, and so I would encourage you, this would be just a routine amendment the City Council can pass you know, after they've had a chance to look at that and consider that. Uh, but you want your budget to obviously reflect all obligations. So uh, that would be one thing we noticed and want to point out to you. Proper funding of the interest in sinking fund account is one of the most important elements of the bond covenants. This fund serves as a form of disciplined budgeting for debt service. A properly funded interest in sinking fund provides some assurance that funds are readily available to pay debt service in full when due. We re recently issued a letter of non-compliance. We asked that the city reply formally to the letter on or before April 6, 2024. The letter addresses the interest in sinking fund as well as proper budgeting mm -hmm. issues. We will discuss with the city an appropriate corrective action plan, a formal to-do list that provides a positive path forward. The solution for the city of Ladonia may be as simple as a commitment to fund a certain amount in the INS fund for the remainder of the fiscal year. Financial compliance would recommend that the city review its key internal controls, make improvements where possible, and assure that the city council receives appropriate information to assure that the city complies with applicable statutes, bond covenants, and policies and procedures of the city. My comments are meant to be a challenge to the city to make positive improvements. We will engage with the city to help restore compliance where needed and provide assurance to you as well as to us that the city has the financial resources to pay its obligations when due. My colleagues and I look forward to working with the city and we're available to assist in any appropriate manner. Um, I especially at this time want to uh, acknowledge 
um, Councilman Morris, I believe I got that right. Uh, I've known him by phone um, since August, and we worked through a rather difficult issue, and um, I am mm -hmm. grateful for his initiative and involvement, so I, I needed to share that with you. Um, earlier this evening, we had a working meeting with the City Council on these very topics, and, everything. <coughs> and uh, we shared best practices, and we'll continue to do so, and we'll follow up with them to be sure that they know what is best practice and that they, over time they can get to where they want to be, which is basically sound economics and compliance with debt covenants. So with that, I would like to thank you for your time and for your attentiveness earlier this evening as well, and we look forward to working with you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Welcome. You. Okay. And with, with that, we're going to go back to the hotel and have dinner. <laughs> so... Um, but thank you all for being here. This thank is a lovely crowd. Yeah. So, thank you. Good night. Can we, we should go out that way, I think. We can. Okay. Yes. Shall we? Yes. All right. Good night. Go ahead. Have a blessed day. Make a motion we accept the minutes with the correction mm -hmm. Mr. Holt.
make a motion we accept the accounts payable. Uh, March 1st through March 31st, 2024. Make a motion with table until we get to this reality. You'll have to excuse me when I'm dressed. I'm just falling out of the hole. <laughs> we fixed, just got through fixing the leak over on the 10th. We did two on Stevens. Uh, one we fixed. We thought we had everything covered. Uh, the water line was laying directly onto the sewer line. And the next day, the lady came back and she was very upset because it was still leaking. I don't know that it wasn't re leaking. And then the lady, maybe because Street Farmer came and told us there was one where those uh, willows were that had been there for years. And sure enough, we dug up and it was barely leaking and we fixed that too. So we got both of them done. Uh, David, I mean Paul, I don't know why I'm going to call him. Uh, he ran a new sewer uh, from the homeowner's landline to the tap. I don't know what street it was on, the one we talked about on Friday. Okay? <coughs> but it was it was completely replaced on our side. King Street, right? No. No? Not on Friday. No, I said we discussed yeah. it in the meeting yeah, on yeah. Friday. I'm thinking Richard's question. No. no. King. Is it King? Yeah. Okay, but anyway, we went all the way to Plain with it. Uh, we've got a sewer to do tomorrow. I don't know where that particular one is. Uh, outside of that, the, he's pulled a lot of the cattails out of the wastewater pond. My friend <coughs> came down and took a look at it, and he just assured me it'll cost a little bit of money, but he assured me that we can get the problem cured down at the wastewater plant. The intake, your plans in there show the intake to be on the major pond, the what they call sedimentation pond, or stabilization pond, shows the coming in from the south end. <coughs> in the state of Texas, you're supposed to do pond system with the prevailing wind, and our prevailing wind is out of sight. Instead of putting the, end of the intake at the north end so that the wind would blow the rags to the north, uh, whatever jackass, oh, excuse me, whatever person built it put the intake on the south end. So we're going to look at trying to rerun. And I'm looking now at the plan to see where I might be able to tie in so that we can change it the way it's running because it is stacking up sludge right there at that pin, right around the intake. So I'm trying to get that cured. Uh, the other two ponds are in fair shape. They've all got some sludge in them, but we've uh, shown, and I showed you the information on it on Thursday or Friday, uh, that really eats sludge. I have not got a price on it yet. I will get one as soon as I can. And he said when he had a complete total worked out, that he would get back with me and he'll come back down. That's all I got. Okay. Any questions? Well, you're not on the agenda, so mm -hmm. do you want to bring up anything else? Well, we need help. I understand. That's 
Paul, Paul got in that hole down there just now at 605. And his waiter were two thirds full of water. And he was soaking wet. And he was having major issues in the hole trying to get a clamp on because it, it's under high pressure. I say high pressure, our normal water pressure, which is high enough to blow clamps loose. And he could not physically put the clamp on correctly. I put the water in the And it so, yes, it, they changed over to a different clamp and were able to get repaired. So, it was, here, here's my opinion. We're either going to have to hire somebody or we're going to have to start calling contractors to do this stuff. You're, you're looking at the same kind of money. You know, whether you do uh, hire someone or if you hire contractors. Um, but you can't do it with one person. You know, it's like I told you yeah. with our business. When he reads meters, that's two and a half days when nothing else gets done. Because you want those meters wet. And uh, he, he can't do everything by himself. And he's doing it right now. I do as much as I can to help him. When I was home, I had a choice of eating and taking a breathing treatment or taking a breathing treatment and coming back down here or changing clothes. So I chose to grab a bite or two and take my breathing treatment and come down here. You know, there's only so much I can do. I told y'all honestly that I'm physically disabled, but I still have him as much as I, I have to be there when he does a leak, and I pass him to the equipment as he needs it, but that's the best I can do. But he is, you know, right now, <laughs> he's soaking wet and not happy at all. Me too. <laughs> yeah, you and I both did that. <clears throat> and that's all I've got. Uh, this is just just kind of letting y'all know where where the water and sewer is right now. So. Good job. Good job. I have two perfectly good ones. Mm -hmm. You're the only person that's not. Yesterday was the cabbage field. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have our February 2024 run report from our uh, fire chief, Grady Howard. On that report, we have medical emergency, we have six. Structure fire, uh, zero. Grass fire, one. Motor vehicle accident, we have three. Landing zone, zero. Mutual aid, zero. Let lifts, assist, nothing. Uh, unknown type fire, one. This is co controlled burn, out of control. Uh, for smoke investigation, there's nothing. Illegal burn, nothing. Hazmat, a natural gas leak, we have one. Uh, motors, this is, there's nothing. And total cost for service was 12. For the month of February, we held, uh, they held one business meeting, one regular meeting, one training night, and one council night. Uh, Caesar Mitchell, Caesar Mitchell. We really do need to, uh, as a council, sit down and check out how we can hire someone else for the water department. Uh, I don't believe there's anything else. Is there anything else? Okay. Uh, on, on our radar right now. Uh, police department? They're contacting on you. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry, so, I couldn't hear. No contact. Okay. Old business discuss and consider action for events and activities at City Hall. That's not positive. Okay. Yeah, I think you're 
How much tax revenue does the city this get from that? Nonprofit organization. So it's that's the reason it's like if, it's if public the, if property. the Chamber of Commerce Jeez. wants to make it a fundraiser, they can do it. You just have to bill the cost of the permit into what you're doing. That's what every other city in the world does. Yeah. Commerce does. So we need okay. Mm -hmm. If we're gonna do the twenty mile garage sale, that's what it's gonna be. So chamber can the city gets a permit. One permit. If that's what this city council decides. I, I, if they decide that. If they decide that and say, look, if we, have, permit, if we have a sponsor that wants to come in and assume responsibility for all this, then yes. that sponsor can come in and get that permit. Okay, that's what I need mean, clarified. And then, so we could continue how we do it as long as we get the permit to have the... If these if, people if this decide that. I, I understand yes, that. Yes, I just want to clarify that. There's, there's not any... I didn't get any push one way or the other to say, oh, the chamber's behind this, the city behind yeah. this. I don't know what the faction is here. I'm just saying yeah. somebody has to count heads out here because eventually I drove across the lake today. That thing's about to be finished, and people are going to start coming here. And the, the only way that the city can keep track of what's going on is to have some sort of permitting process to know Saturday there's going to be 15 people, 15 vendors down here. Well, the chamber says, well, we're going to do that. Well, there's a collision there. The only way the city can keep track of it is to schedule it and then permit it at some cost where you pay for the fees for the staff and if you have to have security out there for that. And that's all this is an attempt to do. Okay. I just want to clarify. <laughs> 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 
if they decided, yes, ma'am. So, and you're saying this right here is the one they would need to fill up? Well, there's, there's two of them. It depends on, on if, if it's just a use permit for them to go down there. But I, vendors are mostly people who are going to be selling things. If somebody's going to throw up a, a tent down there, like it's, let's say there's a religious rally or there's a political rally or something else that goes on down there. They're not selling stuff. They're giving things away. You probably just need to permit that. But if somebody's going to be selling things and engage in commerce here, then you want to know what they're selling and what they're doing. Do they have permits to do it? Are they licensed to do it? And those, that's the distinction between the two things. And so all of this is just services. Yes, Use permit application instructions. Oh, that's, that's probably just instructions. Yeah, I guess that's temporary correct. Use, but those was this one? It goes with the temporary use. Okay. <coughs> Anything else? Okay. Thank you. Does each vendor have to pay $30 or just one $30? It depends on yeah. how you guys decide y'all want this structure. <coughs> we, didn't, we haven't set a fee yet. Right. I think you can put it in there just to... Right. Well, I don't know how many sites there are. <coughs> Anybody know? Ten? Twenty? Five? Well, so it's a, it seems like if, if the chamber's going to hold the event, it's one How, how one many... Permit. How many sites are there? Depends on how many people are involved. Depends on how many people sign up. How many sites how many are there sign total? Up. Is it 200? Well, that's what I'm saying. saying. So where, where do we draw the line at? Mm -hmm. Why you know, are we making a mountain out of something that we have literally been doing for years? Blank sites, not anybody in them yet. There's no specific There's number because no it's telling how many people. Wait. Hold on. Yeah. Um, I need to know. <laughs> okay. So then, if we've got 15 sites, then it's going to be 15 vendor person vendor applications. And that's why I'm asking. If this that's is the, our vendor, yeah. for a but, but it's a not 15 permits. Then we it should be get one permit, permit under right. the under the chamber. Blog sale. Exactly. I mean, if we turn our blog sale, you know, but we would pay for electricity that the ones would be using, but we. If we did that, we, we, uh, there was no sense in having it because what we do with that money helps the community. So if we have to just pay it all to the city, we're not doing anything. Plus the tax so, revenue that so the city we gets. Need to, we need to come up with an amount that we're going to charge per site. For each vendor? And then no. This, and no. Then no. 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 Each site is going to be that way. Five dollars, twenty dollars, whatever. And then if the chamber wants to take it, take that upon them to do all the sites or whatever, then they it's so much per site. They can they can charge what they want to if they're they're going to get involved and pay for it. But don't you have to defend uh, to, uh, define what a site is so it will apply yeah, to other events the also because a site could be a a picnic table for a group of uh, people that want to have a party out there. So, so each picnic okay, table is going to have to pay so much. That if we have the clean, and I'm asking the attorney specifically, if we have an event such as the Twenty Mile Garage Sale, we should come get a permit from the city to hold the Twenty Mile Garage Sale. Is that correct? Yeah, that's what the legislation shows. Okay. I I can't tell you because okay. this is just a this is I a draft. You. And so whatever it says, what it's going to say, that's the reason we're having this discussion, is what if the chamber wants to come in and say, we, we want to rent the whole thing for the 20 mile, 80 mile, 82 garage show. What do we do? That's something you guys need to iron out here. That's the whole reason this stuff is on the table. Let's talk about it and figure it out. You said it was the public we, square so unless me. they use electricity. It was our square. Throw me out then. That's what he said. Now you're turning it around. Goodbye.
this is a big fundraiser for our community. This this just doesn't go to the chamber. I mean, we do a lot of stuff for the school. That's why I mean, we do a lot of stuff around this community. So it's just not putting our pockets and set on it. So what we that would do? Well, no, I'm I don't think sure you do. You do because yeah. Y'all get tax revenue Why? after each sale. Y'all yeah. get all kinds of money from this that y'all don't even I mean, understand right. that you're getting, and you're the trying to make it more difficult. Here, the, the traffic that comes in, Eastside, everybody gets that gets pig and whistle. That's the whole deal was to bring people into our community to learn about our community, and some people have moved here because of that. So I don't understand. I don't mind paying part of the fee to the city for you know. But for every vendor that we get, that's how that's a fundraiser for us so we can help the community do different things. And we have done a lot for Fanville ISD. Look at this pressure on we've his face. I know. We don't give two to be shits. able to, to help out around the community. And to punish I feel like we're being punished. I, and I'm not a, I'm not against five dollars of that if that's a, a reach to them. Uh, I don't know. Electric, electric, I can understand. If y'all want a part of that, that's no problem. But why would y'all want to run an event there. You just or events that bring property. commerce mm. to our city? Look how he's looking too. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Any more discussion? That's my son. So you want the city to brunt the cost <laughs> Of the electrician. No, no, I just said that. That is not what she just said. I just said. I, that's not what I said. I said, what well, you do, those vendors that are paying for electric, so we can get those to see, there's just a couple, three of them. So if we need to do that, that's fine. Okay, that pays for the electric those vendors are going to use. But the rest of the vendors out here that are setting up and don't use anything except space, that's where we make a lot. So we can help this community, and y'all know we've helped the school a lot. Mm -hmm. It's willingly. That's what we do this for. Can I ask what you've done for the school? Mm -hmm. Well, every year we uniforms, we uniforms for the yeah. uniforms for the band. Yeah, that's right. We've done a lot. I'm not even gonna go through it. This year, you know, we have. Last year they helped uh, with the drill teams by over a thousand dollars for the drill team. They're uh, I've asked them this year what they can help do. Uh, we got one this year. T-shirts every year. T-shirts. T-shirts every year. Backpacks. The summer before last. Give them T-shirts. Let me talk, please. Okay, sorry. Um, they've given t-shirts every year to every child <coughs> and uh, teacher, teacher and, and staff, staff for, you know, to have the pictures. They're you know, black. They're usually they're black with the Fandale logo, some kind of them. And that way, uh, that was also so they could uniform when they go to any competition. Can, can we get right back on the subject? We are on the subject. <laughs> no, you're not. Asked the the mayor were, asked the question. You, you were finished Pat. talking a while ago, no, and I started asked. talking, and you interrupted me. <laughs> the mayor asked a question. What what they given to the school? So I was answering that question. It's okay. Thank you. That's my question. For showing FFA, we. I can't believe he has the audacity to run for mayor. The elementary a lot over there. I mean, we. That's what we're here for. The we're summer before last, the when, they, when they went to Would Nashville, the, 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 they, 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 please. Anyway, we're not putting it in our pockets, okay? Uh, I may work for the schools, but I do not, I'm not involved in what's going on in Noyan in the city, so that's why I asked the question, because I don't go in there. I just go to my vehicle and leave. Okay, but we've done a lot, mm -hmm. and we'll continue to do so. Sponsorships for the when they were showing their animals, is that yeah, right? Yeah. 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 All of that. Scholarships. We've, we've done a lot. So if that's you want to cut out where we can help this community, that's on y'all. 
any other questions. Are you done? I guess I am. <laughs> that's right, that's me. We're not denying that the chamber hasn't done a lot for the, for the city. Literally we did. And, we did. And a lot for the school. <laughs> not denying that in the least. What we're talking about is the vendor spots that we have around here. And the city has gotten the city has gotten no revenue off of it. The city has gotten no revenue. Sales tax revenue is still revenue. I thought you were done. Well, until you uh, say something okay. that's not true. Let I me finish what done. I'm saying. I told you you were done. And then if you've got something else to say, then you can talk. <laughs> <laughs> so the city gets no revenue off of it. We get sales tax from other people, the vendors. I don't think any of the vendors are paying any sales tax. Yes, they are. Uh, okay. <laughs> he doesn't know. Nevertheless, this is here. we 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 have an expense here, and we're not getting anything for it. We're not saying we want fifty dollars from every person that that pitches a tent here. Okay. <laughs> we're asking. I'm asking. <clears throat> come up with a cost, whatever it might be. $2 but you can't sit here and tell me that, oh, uh, Bob down here, he's not going to use electricity, so, you know, he don't get charged. But Sally over here, you know, she's got um, cookers and everything else going over here, and uh, so she gets charged for it. So you they, don't all, have any... they all got charged, Greg, something, hmm. because that is a fundraiser for our chamber so we can help the community put it back into the community. I don't understand so what fundraiser. The city gets no revenue off of it. If you, if the chamber gets it, that's y'all's choice on where it goes. I'm not saying that the chamber does not put money back in the city. I am not saying that. I'm not saying that the chamber doesn't do stuff for the school. Mr. Egan, how many were out there were electricity? Did you? No, uh, and you can only count right here because the outside is not paid for uh, by the, the city. The other side doesn't have electricity. No. Have yes, it does. It's, it's, it's yes, it does. Oh, Over there on the other on the west yes, on the east side of the square. I'm yes, sure it does. But that's that electricity bill is paid for by the Shriners mm -hmm. or the oh, the oh, temple, whatever this is, the Masons. Masons. Thank you, sorry. <laughs> Shriners, Masons, temples, whatever they. So how many how many electricity is out here? I'm sorry, I didn't count the electricity spots. Okay. I was counting parking Thank spots. You. That's all we're doing. No, there's more. Would you mind looking and see how many electricity I will do it because Hold we on. have other people that will have con events too, and that's a, that's you know, the town's going to get bigger. We're going to have to have mm -hmm. permits. Can I, can I say something? As the president of the, the chamber, can I offer to... Look at what the expenses are that the city is incurring, especially with the 20-mile garage sale. Do you know what those expenses are, Greg? Do you know how much electricity was actually spent on the last 20-mile garage sale? So that we can come up with a fair vendor price to coordinate with the Chamber's mm -hmm. fundraising and provide for the, the city with something as well. I, I, as a president, have no problem with the city getting money reimbursed for cost the cost of it. the electricity. Or any of the way he turns us back to us. Because he can't handle the truth. It's always worth it. How many hours they're calling it? Yeah. Just count your side. City doesn't make any money. I mean, it's one of those things that pay forever. So. Let's get a seven. Mm -hmm. Twelve. Twelve on the square. Twelve right here. Electric spots on the square. You said there's twelve. Twelve. Okay. This is what I'm kind of thinking. If there's twelve electrical spots on the square, if the council if the Chamber of Commerce filled out one of these temporary permits for the fund, for the uh, <coughs> event, yeah. event, yes, thank you, that we're having, and 
for the 12 outlets that are there, the city come up with at the next meeting, we'll have the, um, the amount, we can go back and get what was the uh, electricity for the next billing cycle and charge just for the 12 that we know, whether y'all fill them or not, we'll charge Chamber of Commerce X amount of money, say it's $10 a piece, that's 120 bucks. So, not that that's what we're gonna charge, but right. come up with that. We got it. 12, y'all come up with 12? 12. Eight. There's, there's six. There's six. And then there's one at the, looks like there's the gazebo. one the gazebo. And then there's one here on this corner. I don't know if it works or not, but. There's eight plug-ins. That's the only way the electricity is different. That's the main one. Plug <laughs> Jay. That's okay, good. anyway. So, I mean, that's I what I'm trying to eight. Oh. I mean, okay. that would cover whatever amount we come up with, which would be you know, <coughs> whatever the electricity is for the next month. Another month behind, um, and then that way y'all would get y'all's fee that y'all normally charge. But y you, as the Chamber of Commerce, you would then pay us. It doesn't matter if you fill only four of them, you're still going to pay us for the 12. So that would encourage the vendors to use the electricity for that. So is this just for the Chamber? Well, we were just. No, no, I understand, but I mean, we're saying there's a temporary use permit, so is this just for the chamber that... Well, they're going to be hosting, like, some out, but for other people, if they want to do, if they want to do this, yes, and then we'll charge them the same amount for electricity vendors, they're going to be paying us that set amount, you know, for the electricity, that whatever we set. Right. But if they don't, I mean, if it's like a vendor application, like if somebody just want to come up here and sell barbecue one weekend, right. then we charge well, them. Individually. We charge, yeah, we charge, it's not this $30 fee. I would suggest higher, but um, we charge them more money if they were just coming up here to, you know, set up just like a food truck or something that needs electricity. So is it the distinction <coughs> if they're a 501c3 <coughs> as opposed to just an individual? Because we're stuck in the city and, and the chamber, but there will be other tests That's of this the ordinance. Right. There will be other tests the of this. Right. And, and some other 501c3 will come in here and say, okay, right. what's what's the gig? What do you all do? You're going to fill out this, and then you're going to so, go tell us. Yeah, it, it, you, need, you need to keep that in mind when you're trying to lay out, here's, here's the plan, how this is going to work outside because there's going to be outside forces coming in right. and and just the little blurb on the wall here is this the, the texas constitution says you can't take public stuff and use it for private good there's a there's a constitutional provision that the cities do it all the time but those who get caught wish they hadn't mm -hmm. so it would be like somebody coming in and saying we we want to we want to borrow your pickup truck for our 501c3 <coughs> And, and use it in the parade, or you just you, you better not do those kind of things. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean you can't have a partnership with them. It means you have to provide some way or another for the access to the public property, the public stuff. That somehow has to be regulated. And people don't like that. But you lot sooner come up with an idea that costs you five or six or ten dollars <laughs> is to go to be in the court someplace trying to defend it. And it's, it's pretty simple to do. This, uh, once you this is the hill they want to die on. of the vendor application if you know as so like the chamber of commerce would buy like one of these and one of nope. these no nope, no nope, no nope. no nope. they would only do a temporary use permit okay and then whatever but we're going to charge them x amount of dollars yeah so if they want to 
do a temporary use permit, I guess, for the whole property. Would that work? Sure. Yeah. Then they could do whatever they want through the whole property, and we would just have a specific amount that they would pay, you know, for the use of it. And if they had one person show up, well, this is how much it is. If they, you know, had, you know, 300, well, then it's still the same amount. <coughs> get our amount from the the bills, yeah. so that would be it would be like <coughs> I don't know how you can break that out. Mm -hmm. <coughs> well, can you, you use June's payment versus July's. That's two pretty <coughs> amounts. I mean, keep mm -hmm. what you use, like the air conditioner and everything, yeah. and then you go back to June would be your May's bill. I mean, July would be June's bill. <coughs> we'll look at the one See what your variance is yeah. from the, the difference. The difference. Yeah. I mean, that was just that was just a suggestion. Yeah. Because I thought it might or, be better. <coughs> or should we just use a, just a straight cost? So we've been so straight cost because we found out the, the, the initial. The one before the yeah. one before yeah. the one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good with that. You know, just do a, and that would be temporary use, whoever it is, but it would be for the, all of the city hall area. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. But instead of the, but I think they should, in addition, fill out a vendor application as it's a chamber of commerce, and that whatever we decide for a regular amount, we would put in whatever, you know, amount we set up for them. So that would be, that would be their vendor application plus a temporary use. So we'd have something to go back on? If I, if I understand what you're saying, let's, mm -hmm. let's say the chamber came in and said, we want the whole bill. Mm -hmm. Here's the flat fee, we're gonna pay it. Mm -hmm. But then as their vendors come in, they have to come in and fill out a permit. Mm -hmm. well, no, 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 no. They would be the, they would be the vendor. vendor. Or would they just need this, to use that, it? This that, doesn't have any money amount on here. Right. This one does. So unless we're going to add two somewhere where it has the money amount on there, then unless you're going to do it in additional comments, but we need something that's already written in so that nobody can say, well, I don't know how much it was. It needs to be already printed in there. No, it needs to be in there, yeah. And and that's, that's your job. That's the reason it's blank. As you can see, how much conversation just came up that right now. And that's the easiest thing on that whole thing to change or add. If it's you talking about the vendor or the temporary? The, the money yeah. amount on anything oh, okay. is easiest to change. If you're, if you're, if you're overcharging, you go, oops, we need to reduce that. If you're undercharging and not admitting, even meeting the administrative overhead, you go, we need to reduce that. That's the easiest thing in the world to change is the amount of money you're charging somebody. And you can do that based upon the looking at things after you've had them a day or two and go, okay, we, we're, we're charging too much money for this or if we're not charging enough, depending on what the flow is. <coughs> so if you want to put some flat right in there with the understanding that that's, that's temporary, we're going to look at that and see what subject to change on the, the, uh, right. the minutes so that you can change them. So that it can change different. without going back and redoing everything. Correct. Yeah. And, and then you just use that as a guide. A guide. You want to know, use this for, uh, I'll say civic groups or whatever, you know, <laughs> large groups, chamber, uh, church, whatever, you know, if they want to do the, the whole grounds. And then um, the vendor application would be 
her spot or whatever. Otherwise. Yeah, otherwise. If they didn't do the whole thing. And I guess they could have a choice. And, and I mean, if, if there was a church here then they wanted to go in together and just do the temporary use, it might be cheaper for them. We're not trying to make a living at it. We're just trying to recoup the cost. There is no cost. Okay, so just as long as we're all in the same, we're going to use we the Chamber of Commerce. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We fill out the bill. We, we fit that one. We fill out this uh, temporary, temporary use. use. Mm -hmm. And uh, that X amount of rate. Yeah. For the one day. For the 12, for the 12 spots that have electricity. I would just say for the for the area. I wouldn't I wouldn't put twelve spots or anything like that. Okay. And that way you don't have you, it doesn't matter how many spots we use. Okay. And then uh, the vendor application to be separate and for an individual vendor. said something about you would charge more. I would, I would charge 50 bucks okay. for a vendor. Yeah. I'm good with 50. 50 bucks per vendor. Mm -hmm. If we just had a vendor. Mm -hmm. No, that's not the same person. No, that's the same person. It's like an individual kind of thing. It's like you said, if they try to get this one to come up for a week, you would get some more stuff. Because we're going to make that link. If they don't, they shouldn't be here. Right. Okay, and as far as the for the temporary permit use, I'm going to say $10 a spot. A spot. So, that'd be $120. I mean, I'm just basing it off the electricity. I understand, so $120 for the square or the city hall grounds. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm. To cover. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. And then if y'all charge $120 a spot, that's up to y'all. You can get whatever you want. Y'all are going to get whatever y'all get, or whoever is the civic Right, and then y'all will issue us a check, or whomever would issue the city a check for $120. Correct. Okay. Now, with that being said, we're going to put in here subject to change, providing, you know, electric, electricity doesn't go over X amount of money. Correct. And then the, and then the other won't change, correct? Right, correct. The $50 one won't change. I mean, or do we want to put in there subject to change? They're all subject to change. You can get a new city council in here, maybe. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, that's true. All what she said. Subject yeah. to change. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Said. Okay. I second. All right. And it's been seconded by Debbie. Jen, are you in favor? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Debbie? Yes. Yeah. Aye. 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 Okay, did you put 59? Everybody's second. Debbie. Do you have it in Word or did I send it to you in PDF or do you know? Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, one of those. Yeah. All right. B. Ordinance for water, sewer, fees, and rates today. Still don't have that. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you table it? I have to. Okay. Mm -hmm. Motion to table it. 
Yes, sir. You need to put a footage living on there because uh, yeah, that, that's 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 right there. If the line is there and you can just put a tap right there, that's it. Say those guys out there at the rodeo ground them over two thousand feet of four wheel drive. Right now. Get a long new tap. And our tap fee seven hundred fifty yeah, this current box. Box the and all that. Too cheap on the tap. Um, I mean, it, what, what did we get? Uh, did we buy some meter boxes recently? We bought two. They're almost two hundred dollars piece, I think. So that's. You know, that's he's not hitting the gavel when he talks. So. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Yeah. 
Because it's 300 total. Yeah, yeah. 500 is for changes. <coughs> No, I mean um, for the major. Yeah. Yeah. Meters were ninety-five or ninety-six dollars. Yeah, no, we got we got them at a hundred. Three is so orders. so. What what's the time frame to go out if the line is there, putting in a meter? <laughs> well, you can do it with PVC, but you don't have this this you stuff know, to do I, on a steel line. No, I understand. Okay. So, yeah. you uh, can buy these uh, PVC taps that you just mount the tap saddle on there, screw the thing in, it punches the hole itself. Okay, time frame an hour? Depends on how long it takes Paul to get to the mine. Yeah, I know. Well, you know, so, some uh, of your mines are down the middle of the street, some of them are on, on one side or the other, so it's hard to say. Yeah. I'll say two to three hours. Okay. Just to be able to save size. So, uh, but you know, I, I don't know that we can do that for that That's what I say. You you should be looking at five, fifty, five hundred dollars at least. Fifty five hundred dollars. <laughs> you, you've got to maintain it after that too, so don't forget that. Oh my God. <coughs> Because remember, you've got your corporation no, stop, you've got your curb stop, you've got your auto line, and then your meter Customer service your inspection. Yeah. Customer service inspection. And that's paid for by the customer. Should be paid and for by the customer. you also need to put in your thing where the customer, if he wants to shut off, he needs to put it on his side of the meter. That curb stop belongs up. I'm tired of the station and going to that evening break. Then have your council make an ordinance or your town saying you have to have a uh, cutoff on their stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See why I said you have to go back to work. You make things so simple and gross. No, we no, 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 Yeah. Uh, I would <coughs> yeah. So when you see the total on that? The total, or the 25, whatever it is, 2,500. Yeah, what, what's the total cost on that? That's still in our cost, though. 
If we wanted the total to be twenty five hundred, you got five hundred for us if anything. So we're down two thousand. And we got the two hundred for uh, I mean three hundred for the per the meter that we had in the curb stop. So it's five hundred dollars. Correct? Yep. Yeah. So you got fifteen hundred dollars and the two hundred dollars for the deposit. So thirteen hundred is what you would have left. Not too much more than that work. That's just for water. Yeah, yeah, and you got installers too, so. So that would cover. Yeah, twenty five hundred. I'd say that'd be the minimum. Is that for businesses also? No, 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 no residential. It's for residential. residential. And then your I'd sewer. I'd three quarter inch line. Inside. Well, say yeah. yeah. Most of the time they're both the same, but we have an additional 500 for every water meter. Mm -hmm. Two inch meter and the pipe and all that stuff. All, all combined, basically. So that would cover the three hundred dollar cost. Yeah. Yeah, that's Thirteen hundred. 
and then for your third half it was a two thousand dollars my understanding that you log out that you have had some uh, this does not include any uh, road crossings or anything right, like that. Right. It's just, it does a, not in, yeah. it's just the tap. Right. So if you had to bore under the road or something, it would be. Or got to run, you know, a mile and a half or whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't include any of that. Which it may or not be. Right. I mean, it's just <coughs> the basic. Because, because right. if it's a new addition, they'll have to pay for everything. Yeah, new wiring. Right. And then you're, then that, if you're going on down the line, just you want to count that impact fee of the other three, of the businesses. But uh, everything else is the same. Everything is the same except for impact fee okay. and addition. Depends on if y'all want to go with that or wait on the next one. I would do that. And we can do a rate study if we have to come back and, and do an amendment or something, we can do that. But we, we're we getting too far behind <coughs> in uh, our installations. Okay, I'll make a motion that, that, we, that we go with these changes that we discussed on the... Uh, Water taps and the sewer taps on the homes and uh, residential and businesses. So are you making the deposit two hundred now for those taps for the? Yeah, two hundred. This is just for the new. This is just for the new. Yeah. <coughs> we need to put that on the agenda to do to the raise deposit. that other at a different. This is just the. The new. The new. What were sewer rate uh, fees? Right. Yeah. Is that all? She had a question. Make sure it one more time. Make sure I got everything written down in here. Make sure I understood. Keep oh, you want me to do it? Oh, yes. Um, okay. Yes. On the, res the residential? Yes. You've got um, the Evergreen is 500. Mm -hmm. The uh, deposit is 200. Your curb stop, your customer service, whatever you want to call it, CSI, plus your meter and your uh, lid cover is 500. Okay. Got it. So that's going your, for your total cleansing water right there, it's going to be 13. Okay. So it'll be a total of 2,500. Wow. Thank you. Did we get a second of that? No. I'll second it. It's not unoperable. Oh, okay. It's the it's little fall. Okay. Like they can pick up brush and stuff like that. Or cover what they want. Use it as a sewer plant to scoop yeah, those uh, cattails and stuff like that out. That's the part that's she didn't think not operational oh, okay. at this point. This is the front. I did. Uh, sorry. This is the front. This front. Yeah. So he did. They did send us a.
make a motion that we uh, not to exceed five hundred dollars because we do have a quote for that and if we can get it done cheaper with another company then we can definitely do that that's not a problem yeah. well, we have another one company. yes and this now this one's only 90 days mm -hmm. the work you mm -hmm. so Not to exceed five hundred. Yeah, not to exceed five hundred. I'll second. Do we have hands? Wait, you go ahead. Yeah, you go ahead. Okay. Yes. 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 Thank you. D, new sanitation rates. Okay, um, Diane can probably enlighten us on this. We got uh, we got weeks and we got. Um, Should have sanitation solution rates. He said he was helping me. Did you hear anything in sanitation solution? Uh, Jerry. Jason and Stephen said he talked to you about a month ago. Okay, well, I called him today and he had said that he talked to Diane and um, um, I didn't, he didn't say what he told her. He just sent me this uh, request for a proposal that we would need to bend that fill out. So I called Honey Grove, which uses sanitation solutions, and their poly carts are twelve seventy six. If they add an additional one, it's three seventy seven. Uh, their two yard is sixty eight thirty one. <coughs> three yard is ninety oh one. Four yard is one oh two forty. Six yard is one eighteen twenty six, and all of those are picked up once a week. Um, they have a roll off for a month. It's two nine two thirty eight. Uh, they have an eight yard. You can still pick it up. Um, <coughs> three weeks is five twenty five. How much is their trash cans? Uh, well, over there it's twelve seventy six, and three seventy seven for an additional one. That's why after he said he talked to Diane, I didn't um, press him anymore with how much. Um, Cause he asked me how many that we had, and I didn't know how many poly carts we had out, out, yeah. out at the so, time. So, <coughs> by Republic's price, sanitation solutions are cheaper. Yes, and I will uh, throw both in, of them are cheaper than weeks. And I will throw in there that the sanitation solutions does give a uh, five hundred dollars scholarship to a graduating senior at Ladonia, which Republic does not. So, um, um, but I don't know the exact amount to tell y'all. Just that's just for honey girl. Okay, so and then the you, weeks guy is. Yeah, we we got all okay, the eighteen per 18. car. Then yeah, all the other stuff is is higher. Not a lot, but it's higher. So, um, did he send you some something to send back to them? Well, no, he sent a. Um, this is what they have. It's for Red River, Red Water, the city of Red Water. I don't know where that is, but anyway. He said that we need to get something like that together to send a proposal for them to fill out. And I ran up front and back. And if we, you know, wanted a proposal from them. From them. Oh, this is to get a proposal. From yes, them. yes. Oh, I got you. Uh, it's from Sanitation Solutions, oh, okay. but it's a proposal that uh, City of Red Our Water. Our request for a proposal. <laughs> I won't say Red River, but it's Red Water. Yeah. Okay. Where Republican sanitation so, cheaper? Um, Republic no, was Republic two through ten, and we're gonna have to go up. But where did you get your number twenty three ten? It's not that, that high. No, it's fifteen. Like sixty. Well, for set fifteen. Sixty and seven fifty is twenty three ten. Well, seven fifty for the extra cart. That's for an extra cart. That's, that's, that's what I asked last time. Yeah. 
y'all said for two parts. That's for two parts. Was the seven fifty extra? Okay, the new sir, the residential service was fifteen sixty. The new rate, ninety six gallon cart was seven fifty. I asked at the last meeting, and y'all said these two added together was twenty three ten, and we were losing money, and y'all wanted to go up, and so that's when I said we need to get a right. And that, that, was, so, that information was incorrect. That, that, so nobody told me that it was incorrect. Right. We didn't know that until, what, the day? Yeah. So when somebody's trying to get quotes, then... Yeah, no, I, I understand. <coughs> what? We're, we're, not, we're not making what we were before. It's the thing. So. No, it's because we did not increase our rate. When they increased their rate, we did not increase our rate. But if we would have increased it last month, to 20, or the last meeting, to $28, it would have been way over. It would have been too much. Yeah. <coughs> so if we had had some communication, then we would have known that it was 15 Good job. We're not losing it. Yeah. On that bill that we have gotten too much prior to this, if we'd have been looking at the top of it, we wouldn't have been losing that much because we'd have addressed it earlier. Well, we should have addressed the... Anyway, so what are we going to do now? When we got the they letter. send you a letter that tells you they're doing it mm -hmm. every year. Okay. So what are we doing here? Yeah. Waiting on sanitation solutions? No, I, I was just, it's whatever y'all want to do. I mean, he gave you some prices, so, and they're cheaper than Republic. So, um, I would say at this point in time, let's don't, let's don't do any new sanitation rates. Let's check with Sanitation Solutions and see if that brings us back to, you know, the same you know, profit that we were making on the on the last one. So send them a request for a proposal? Absolutely. Yeah. Is there a motion? Are you gonna do that or you need Diane to do that or well, I think it's Diane's job. Uh, if she's got time she can do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She'll do it. That's now that's just his example. Um. Does anybody know what the default or most provision is for the public to cancel the contract? Well, they haven't renewed the contract. So what's this month to month right now? The contract said it was signed January the 1st, from January 1st, 2018 to December 31st, 2022. 22. Hmm. So that was the last written and signed contract. Correct. Wow. And we requested a new contract. That's what they said. Okay. Greg, you made a motion to send the request. Is it a proposal? Proposal? Yes. It was a lot more wasn't it? Right, they still operate under San Francisco. Okay. Except for the All in favor, On that screen, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, on page one, one point three. Okay. Um, 
I think it just should be the pre-approved by the mayor for 40 hours. And any additional time must be pre-approved by the mayor. So we don't know what's going on. Uh, then, oh, you don't? Maybe I do. I'm sorry. I yes, I do. What page? First page, first page. Okay. Go to 1.3. 1.3. Okay. Uh, our additional time must be pre approved by the mayor. Check out the days of June. Uh, now, these are just my suggestions. Uh, 2.1 uh, that year date needs to be uh, just 20 and then dash underneath it for the year change. In 2.2, .2, it says, who shall serve at the pleasure? I don't think that is a very good word. We need something else of the city. The pleasure of the city council. <laughs> <laughs> How about just will serve? The city? Yeah. Can we just bring another one? Yeah. <laughs> so we can say that will. At the will. Yeah. Yeah. So serve at the will of yeah. the city council? <laughs> Okay, we're going to do at will. I don't like the pleasure of the city. <laughs> it's trying to spice up your life a little yeah, bit. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, and then on the last page where it says sign, there again, change that date, your date to 20, and then a dash after the zero. Or not dash, but underline. Yeah. Now that was all I saw. I'm going to point y'all. Oh, and up at the top, the date at the very first paragraph says day of November 2022. Yeah. We just need to put a date. Yeah. Did you type this? <laughs> I did. I did not type that. <laughs> But I looked at it, and but in those days, it should, it, yeah. yeah. But it resembles my typing. <laughs> the problem with what you need to do is, is ask your lawyer to send it to you Word. So you can lawyer, can, uh, Mr. Hamilton, would you like yeah. to send it to us in Word? Send it to you. Yeah. Yeah. If you've got the corrections, I'll send it to you. But it, it, it needs to be in Word here because when you hire somebody else, you need to be able to just change it Correct. again and again. Yeah. Yeah. Made a motion to accept the employee agree employment agreement change. with changes as noted. Do I have a second? A second. 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 Do a second. Jan? Yeah. Jan, you're in favor, I'm sure. Yes, ma'am. Debbie? Yes. Deisha? Yes. Greg? Yes. Number 10. New business consider action water meters not being read correctly. There was a PIA or a, I'm sorry, an amendment. Ha! An agenda uh, request. She's not here. Yeah, she's right here. I'm sitting right here. couple of questions. One is when you get a work order from the city, is there supposed to be a date on it when they're going to come and do the job? It's going to be a date on it that we receive the work order, but as far as when it's going to happen, probably not because it's going to be a prioritized item and just like today, there's no way if we would have scheduled something for a day that, that it would happen. Three, six, it's not, really, not going to happen. And I don't understand how it can go from he's going to say 2,000 gallons of water in one month to he's at 18,000 gallons of water. And I live in a brand new house. There's no leak. And I did not put a pool in. 
That's your brother, so you go ahead. <laughs> There's always been a problem with that water meter. The and we're just, uh, we're going through mm -hmm. trying to change meters that are problems. Yeah. Um, do you, Diane, <coughs> do you know if that meter was very red? I've taken a picture of it all week, and it's been the same all week, still covered with mud. It's been that mm -hmm. way ever since. For a year since I moved here a year ago. Yeah. Um, I will have to vouch for the meter readers and everybody else. With the rain, with the weather, that meter is going to get covered up with mud. I'm not saying I'm not trying to say okay. that they're reading it. I'm not, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying. But why is the picture the exact same with the leaf still there I, and er, er, everything's exactly the same? All the pictures are taken. Again, I'm, I'm not saying they're reading it. I'm saying we hear this every day mm -hmm. that there's mud covering the meters and this and that. And I know full of well that a lot of them have been read. Well, I've, I've read them myself. Um, so, I've moved here from Houston. When I lived in Houston, my water bill was never over fifty dollars. So when I come up here, moved up here, and I'm living in a brand new house with brand new everything except a brand new water meter, I wouldn't think it would be eighty dollars. And I come up here, and I complain. The first time I paid the bill, I complained about it. She says, "Ma'am, hold on. We have a minimum of two thousand. I never complained again until I got my bill this month." So what what is our minimum bill like with eight four oh one? So that, that, again that's that's as cheap as it's gonna get. I, you know, I I never, like I said, I never complained about that bill, but this bill was two hundred and eighty seven dollars. I, I agree. I'm, I'm and I don't think that. I need to be paying a bill like that. Nope. And I can you can change your and change your meter if it's wrong. That meter well, they sent the house was completed when they re got, probably got the walk in house. Mm -hmm. Since then, it has been covered in mud. And we have checked and it for on and off. And the After concrete the around it is cracked, and the lid is laying on the side, cracked in half. Yes. What's the address, please? 509 East Main Street. Is that new? Uh, it's the new house. gray and white house. And it has been that way because we've all been taking pictures, and I, I was overseeing it when it was being built, so I it's know been that way. ever since they completed it, it has been covered in mud, and it has not been cleaned out since. We will have someone go by and read the meter <coughs> and take a picture of it, okay? Um, that way there's no question about was it red, was it not red, did they open the box, did they not open the box? You know, I mean, I, I mean that that it's argument can go crazy, but anyway, it's, it's let's, broken out. let's let's get the meter read, okay, and work from there. Okay? Thank you, sir. I'm not saying that uh, one way or other what what the bills going to end up because that's you know. I mean, that, I could have understood say maybe a hundred because of the freeze. And I had to rent, let my water run. Okay. I can understand there being, yeah, say, maybe fifty dollars more than the eighty-four. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have worried about. I would have just paid that. Right. But when it was two hundred and four dollars more, <clears throat> and it said I used eighteen thousand gallons of water. Jeez. I didn't put a pool in my backyard. I'm sorry. I wish I could have, but I didn't. I understand. Thank okay. you. Give us, give us a chance to reread it and. Uh, we will let you know something. Oh, I will read this for the first time. Do you have a time about when they can? Well, uh, from all the repairs, yeah. I I can understand. I've been hearing all the repairs that's going on, and I know there's only one guy that does that. So I just mm -hmm. want y'all to know I am very concerned about this. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. motion we go by and reread her meter and take a picture and contact her with uh, the correction or whatever we, we end up with.